God, what a nice feature, man. I've been waiting to see that go up for a long time. Yes. We're almost ready to get this house on the market, so I'm meeting with the stager to go over furniture and accessories. All right, so what do you think? This is great. Very nice. Yeah, it's nice and open. You know, it had walls everywhere here before. We got rid of everything, opened up the whole main floor. So I see two seating arrangements. I see one over here, okay. and then a walkway in the middle here, and then another seating arrangement over here with the TV. OK, I think we're on the same page then. Right. So I definitely spent more money back here than I normally would, you know, with the stamped concrete. Mm -hmm. So uh, I have an idea. I, we have two levels. We have a little slope here. OK. So this level up here, I want to be like the sitting area and eating area. Okay. okay, so I want big table and chairs, as many as we can fit here, you know, okay. without it looking ridiculous. Um, and then the lower area, I got a totally different feel for this. So under the pergola, I want to do as much seating as possible. Okay. I was thinking either a, just a large couch with chairs all around it, or an L couch with uh, probably an ottoman. Um, I also got a projector to put up, and that's going to project onto this wall. Um, and I'll have a screen that pulls down. So I just want to make this as cool of an outdoor living space as possible. Yeah, there's a lot of room out here, and I think you can really showcase it. Good. That'll be Good. great. So we have about a week until I have the open house, which okay. only gives you seven days to put all this together. Okay. Can you do that for we me? We can do it. It's tight, but we can do I it. I know. Normally you need two weeks. I'm sorry for the short, short notice, but. Uh, you know, my crews have been cranking and we're actually made up some time, so we're okay. ready to go if okay. you can make it happen. We'll do it. Okay. I'm excited. Thank Thanks you so much. so much. Yes, it'll be great. So we'll do we'll do table there with lamp and then this guy on this side. I mean, how cool is this gonna be? Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. What do you think, buddy? It's it's perfect. After almost nine months of hard work. This small bungalow has been transformed into a modern home that mixes classic craftsman details with modern finishes. We're almost ready to go on the market, so we'll spend the next two days getting the house staged. Perfect. All right, down my way a little bit, looks like. So we'll do, we'll do table there with lamp and then this guy on this side. Yeah, this is looking really good. Yeah, people are gonna come back here and they're absolutely gonna love it. I agree. I mean, how cool is this gonna be? Oh, that's awesome, look at that. Is that's that be awesome? great, yes. It's been nine months, and we've given our house a complete facelift. We're having an open house tomorrow, so I'm meeting with Drew to check out the staging and figure out a list price. What do you think, buddy? It's amazing. The kitchen looks fantastic, and I love the way it matches up with the fireplace. You know, it was a really good idea to run those double eye joists all the way across. That way we have no posts. It's completely open now. The study turned out great with all the molding, and that bathroom, the bathroom looks like it's always been there. But what I really like is the way the basement turned out. Oh, this is so good, man. This is amazing. Good finished product. Well, you remember how small this room would have been if we had kept the bathroom right there, I mean, it would have been half this size, literally. If you would have walked down into what? I mean, the TV on this side, there's not enough room. This is, I'm glad this we did nice. it that way. Yeah. It's a good decision. Finishing all of this added so much value to the house, so much square footage. The space really does feel almost like it's above grade because of the ceiling height. I agree. Yeah. I'm glad it went this way. Mm -hmm. And you see in here, look how nice this looks. Look at all the natural light in here, these egress windows. Awesome big bedroom and the walk-in closet's amazing. So this is a, uh, you know, it's its own private suite down here. This basement is exactly what this house needed. All right, so we got the two secondary bedrooms, which are perfect, and they share this bathroom. We got the two vanities in there. Plus, we, you know, we were able to sneak the washer and dryer in there. Oh, big closet. That's all, oh, this came out good. Look at this. I love it, man. Copper ceiling. Yep, yep. Got the uh, whatever light. The mood light. The, yes, the mood light. They did such a good job. The bedroom lays out perfect. The bathroom feels so nice. And I know putting the tile all the way around, it definitely costs us more money doing the tile in the ceiling and the shower. But man, it makes a statement. This balcony, I absolutely love this. This is amazing. 
Yeah, you can sit out here in the morning before the kids get up, have some coffee. Ah, oh, yes. How great is this, man? We have the whole dining area up here, preparation, grill. And then did you see what I put in last night? Projector. Yeah, so we put a projector in last night. We have the screen, 100-inch screen. How great is it going to be to come out here, relax, watch movies, watch any, you know, football, baseball, whatever you want. I mean, this outdoor space is so cool. So we got to figure out, you know, what are we going to list this house for? Because we got to make up for some of our overages. Let's work our comps. All right. Those are the comps? Yes. Let's see what we got, man. I hope they're higher than when we started this project. <laughs> 